Hey guys, Travis Gillespie here. We've been working with indirect measurements, and here's another problem for you. Brian, who's twice as tall as Cole, is six and a half feet tall. Cole cast a shadow that is 22.75 feet long. If Brian is standing next to Cole, how long is Brian's shadow? Okay, so let's go ahead and highlight those keywords. We know Brian is twice as tall as Cole, and we know Brian is 6.5 feet tall. Cole has a shadow that is 22.75 feet long. And we know they're standing next to each other. We want to know how long Brian's shadow is. So I'm going to draw Brian here. I'm going to separate them in this drawing. So we have Brian and we have Cole. Okay, so we have Brian standing here. And we got Cole standing below. Now they look to be the same height. Uh, in my models, but I'm not worried about the model's scale height here. I'm actually just concerned about putting the key information in the correct spot. So I know that Brian is six and a half feet tall. And I know that Cole is half that height, so he has got to be three and a quarter feet tall. And I know that Cole cast a shadow that is 22.75 feet long. And we're trying to find out the length of Brian's shadow. So from here we can set up our proportion pretty simple. Just gonna put my dividing lines in and I can set it up as six and a half is to S. And I'm actually going to use fractions in this one. Is to s as three and a quarter is to twenty-two and three quarters. Let's go ahead and take the cross products. I have three and one quarter times s is equal to six and one half times twenty two and three quarters. Well before we move forward with multiplying these values we've got to take these mixed numbers and turn them into improper fractions. So I know that three times four we get twelve here and thirteen over four so 13 over 4 times s is equal to 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13. We have 13 over 2. And now we have 22 times 4 is 88 plus 3 will give us 91 over 4. Okay, our next step, whenever we multiply fractions, all you have to do is multiply straight through. So it's straight through on the top, straight through on the bottom. We have 13 over 4 times s is equal to 1,183 over 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, so how do we isolate the variable s? If I were to take it step by step, I would First, get rid of the division of 4. I'd multiply 4 on both sides, and then I would get rid of multiplication of 13 by dividing by 13 on, sides, on both sides. But there's a simpler trick. Let's just flip the reciprocal and multiply. So I'll multiply by the reciprocal of 13 fourths, and that would be 4 thirteenths. If I do it to this side, I have to do it to the other side. the 4, the 4, and the 13, and the 13 cancel out. I'm going to get us some more room here. Cool, so the next thing I can do is cross cancel here. I'm going to divide both 8 and 4 by 4. I'm left with 1 and 2. And on this side of the equation, I have s is equal to 1,183 times 1, which is 1,183 over 2 times 13 is 26. I'm going to make some more room still. 
1,183 divided by 26 will give me a value of 45 and 1 half feet. So we can see that Brian's shadow, S, has to be a length of 45 and a half feet. That makes a lot of sense because 45 and 1 half is double 22 and 3 fourths. Cool stuff. See you in the next video, guys.